Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you are watching from, we say welcome to Prophet and Television. We have coming live from the RIA Airport where we'll be receiving the first black man or Liberian who completed a solo transatlantic flight in a single aircraft in as soon as possible time. This is the RIA So we will appreciate if you send in your comments in the comment sessions. We will also appreciate if you share this podcast that all of us will be able to see it and watch. We'd like to talk to a few people that have come to grace this occasion. Those of you that just joined, we say welcome to Providence Television. We have coming live from the RIA Airport, where in few minutes from now we will be receiving the first black man or Liberian who completed or solo transatlantic flight in a single engine aircraft. We will appreciate if you send in your comments in the comment section or also share our live that order will be able to see it and watch. So uh, we will be speaking to a few people. Uh, welcome to Prophet Television, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Mohammed Kaliko Lavali. I'm one of the lead uh, coordinators for the arrival of our extraordinary aviator captain, Colin. Uh, we are expecting his aircraft to be landing in about 20 minutes in accordance with uh, the tower control. He's already within uh, the library and airspace. Uh, under 20 minutes, he'll be touching down the shores of Liberia, that which will conclude the milestone of his dream. Uh, I actually know that today is actually an extraordinary day for Liberian and most especially people that have come out. Uh, what do you What do you think or what do you expect or how is today is like to you? 
For me, the day is nothing but day of motivation, motivation to professional people that indeed you can live your dream, motivation to students, our kids out there who are inspiring to become somebody. Uh, this young man is going to be the first Liberian, first African to transverse on a single easy flight. So, uh, flying from the United States to Canada, Canada, Iceland, Iceland, Greenland, Greenland, Europe, Europe, Morocco, Morocco, Senegal, Senegal, Guinea, Guinea, Sierra Leone, and now he has to Liberia. This is laudable to see a Liberian man doing this. This is welcoming. So we are here today to identify with him in his achievement and we call all all Liberians to come up. His learning is going to be here and then they will do the formalities, the immigration formalities and then he will fly from the Rabat International Airport which happens to be the international airport in Liberia and then he will transit from here to the James Spring Free, our domestic airport where the celebration is going to be. So if you are out there, please make your way to the James Spring Free Airport to receive your hero. Thank you. Mohammed. So we 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 are still anticipating the arrival. In 20 minutes from now, he should be touching down in Liberia. Like we said previously, he is the first black man or Liberian. Who had completed a pseudo trans Atlantic flight in a single engine aircraft. This this is actually a huge success for Liberia and that of Liberians are large. Wherever you are watching from, we say you are welcome to Providence Television. We are coming live from the RIE uh, International Airport. I'm David Ndori Jr. We will appreciate if you continue to send in your comment in the comment section or share our podcast that all of we see and be able to watch wherever they are. As you listen to Mr. Mohammed, he said from uh, the RIA airport, uh, the pilot in person of Mr. Abdul Yuni will be leaving to the GPS print. I believe that where they will honor him, I believe that where they will have a, a, a short welcoming party. People are preparing at the boat. People are preparing for his arrival. Schools of Liberians have come out to welcome him. Schools of Liberians have come out to celebrate him. I know it will be very astonishing to see one man flying an airplane. It is very astonishing that one man is flying an airplane.
For those of you that just joined in, I'm David and Dude Jr. We say welcome to Provident Television. We are coming live from the RIA International Airport, where schools of Liberians have come out to earn to celebrate their own. They have come out to celebrate the first black man or Liberian who have completed or switched as Atlantic flight in a single engine aircraft. We will appreciate if you continue to send in your comment in the comment section or share our podcast. All I will be able to see it. We we appreciate if you continue to stick with us for a few minutes. We are two in a few minutes from now the plane we arrive. As you can see, people are in preparedness, awaiting the plane to be arrived.
There'll be a little formalities here. He needs to file in his, his flight plan with the authority, meaning why he's on the library so where where he's gonna go next. So once he does that, and then after the immigration formalities, he'll be ready to fly to the James Spring Street. So it's about three for the one. The sound should look that way. He's gonna be landing. He's gonna be landing that way. And then that. This way will be his taxi way, and he will park here. So, Emma? Yeah. You have the meal. I want to buy the car. What are 
Yeah, we come around five. Yeah. So he does not intend spending more than ten minutes here. Yeah, no plane to spend more than ten minutes. Not over nineteen. No, he's he's flying. He's going F Maximum ten minutes. Except that what the captain is saying, he needs so far he can fly to air. We are still awaiting the arrival of the plane. Wherever you are watching from, we are coming live from the RRA airport. We say welcome to Provident Television. Please, as you see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The plane has finally landed. We saw the love you here. The main spending 10 minutes. you are watching from, we say welcome to Provident Television. We are coming live from the RRA International Airport where the first black or Liberia have completed this this trial landing flight in a single engine aircraft. This is it. This is what Liberians have been waiting for. This is what Liberian have been waiting for. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. This is what Liberian have been waiting for. Here he comes.
Yeah, he comes.
Yeah, 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 yeah. So no, what do we are So we we'll conduct. Yeah, 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 So you conduct your interview right at your aircraft and then before boarding the boat. This will be five minutes. No, no, I get time for five minutes. Okay, two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. Just two minutes. You want to do it now or we'll reach the aircraft? We'll reach the aircraft. I'll do it. I know. Yeah, you did well. Thank you very much. Very proud of you. So we say welcome to Provident Television again. We are coming live from the Ara Airport where we will be talking to the first black man or librarian who completed a solo transatlantic flight in a single issue aircraft. <laughs> We will be having a very short interview. According to him, there is no time. Very short interview. We will be Welcome to Prevalent Television. Can you interview us? I'm not your name. Uh, how do you feel of becoming the first black man precisely or librarian to complete or solo trying to This is great. It's not just you know, me feeling being the first. Uh, I don't know. I didn't do it for uh, me to be the first person. Uh, it's just an honor to you know, inspire my fellow uh, librarians. So, to bring aviation back up, you know, as you know, like back in the 80s or 70s, for people older, there was Air Liberia and everything. So my goal is to bring aviation back to Liberia, and so we can start from there. So that's the goal. Is this your first time in Liberia? If yes, how long have you been up? If my first time in Liberia? Yeah. If I was born here, or just here in April, or March, April this year. What led you to switch initiative, and what has been the experience or challenges as you learn in difficult? The initiative started uh, growing up, like people leave Africa, they go to America, Europe, and they do better because they see people doing better. Now, as a child growing up in Liberia, if you don't get to see someone who inspires you, you don't have that mindset, it's limited, you know, you can't see what you want to do. So, a child walking today, if you can see me, I talk like him, I look like him, and he can see me flying a plane, he got a mindset that hey, if he can do it, I can do it. So that's the goal, someone has to do it to motivate. Federal, uh, so before I leave you, what will be your last word to those people that have come to celebrate you? I want to say thanks to everyone. This is great. I appreciate y'all. Y'all thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we were just able to simply Mr. Abno Yuni. As you already heard him, he said you the time. We cannot continue. Can you allow me to do the picture, please? Please allow me to do the picture, please. Yeah, 
So you're about to get in Tri-City to go to the gym at Spring? What up there, the boy? You have to go near it. You can take it. As you can see, he have toured the war suit of the you know, aircraft. I'm going to go to the 
to say thank you for watching and following Provident Television. We will be ending this broadcast. And we will be subsequent time. Keep following.